and science. In this video, I'd like to talk about setting up a Punnett square for incomplete dominance and codominance. In incomplete dominance, there are no lowercase letters. Neither trait is dominant or recessive. You have a mixing or blending. For example, I always say incomplete is in between. For example, if you have red and white, the in between would be pink. Dominant red would be written as capital R, capital R, and dominant white would be capital W, capital W, and the mixed or pink would be RW. And then codominance is very similar. There are no lowercase letters. Both traits express themselves in different locations. It's a little bit like this, like if this was a dog or a cow, you have the black and the white both expressing. And sometimes you'll see these subscripts. Same thing, they just write the little subscript, or it looks like an exponent. It says one color, one dominant color is written as capital R, capital R. The other, for example, in this example, white is WW, and then both would be RW. So let's work two examples and see if we can't figure this out with Punnett squares. Okay, so example one. Let's start with um, incomplete dominance. This is incomplete dominance. And there is a flower called a snapdragon that can be red, white, or pink. Red is written capital R, capital R. Okay. White is written W, W. And pink is written capital R, lowercase w. So here we go. It says, what are the possible genotypes and phenotypes of a cross of two snap of two pink snapdragons. So since it's pink, we know, I'm gonna set it up, one parent is going to look like this. The other parent will look like this because it is pink, okay? I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. And then we, just like a normal Punnett square, fill in the boxes, okay? And now let's see what we get. First, let's write the ratio of the genotype, and so we, we're going to have RR, RW, WW, and so for RR we have 1, and then for RW we have 2, and for WW we have 1, so we have a 1 to 2 to 1, okay, and now let's go ahead and let's look and see what the phenotype is going to be. So this, this box will be red, and that will be 25%, okay? The next one in the middle, that will be pink, and that will be 50%, because remember, each box is 25, and then white will be 25%. So there we go. That's the incomplete dominance, okay? So now let's look at a codominance, and it's very similar. Let's see what we have here. It says, in certain dogs, black hair and white hair are codominant. When a dog has a genotype BW, it has a patchwork of black and white hair. And remember this, would, it would be a patchwork of black and white hair. Okay. What happens if you breed a dog that only has white hair? So if it's black and white, black hair is going to be written B. B, white hair will be written WW, because remember, they both are dominant. So we have a black and white dog, and then we have a white dog. Okay, so now I just fill in the boxes. So I have BW, WW, it's a pretty bad W there. We have B, W, and we have W, W. So now let's look at the genotypes first. Okay, genotype. Am I on the screen? Yes, okay. And we have B, W, or W, W. And so for B, W, we have two, two, two. And then for the phenotype, what kind of offspring are they going to have? This BW will be, we'll call it patchwork. We have 50% patchwork, 50% white. Okay, so there we go. Incomplete and codominance 
setting up the Punnett square. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.